Okay, I'm going to do a short little video here of uh, mounting a Chinese 3-axis DRO on a Grizzly GO 704 mil. There's been another video showing this, but uh, kind of use some of their ideas, and I think this is a pretty simple way if you're interested in doing that. So here we go. So for this mill, I ordered a 50, a 200, and a 550 millimeter scale. The 50 millimeter scale, as you see, measures seven and a half inches. Because you got to add 141 millimeters to the length of the scale. So it worked out well for the uh, the Z axis. And I'll show you a little bit close up of how I mounted that. So I took a piece of seven eighths by half by inch and a half aluminum, milled it flat on the back, used the original screws that came with the uh, the original DRO that was on the axis that came with the mill to bolt that into the quill and then we just added a piece of flat stock to that bolted it right straight on the bottom and just run it up through the uh, center of the the head to that a piece of angle iron well angle aluminum a couple screws in there bolted it to the reader and then the actual scale is fastened on to just a piece of quarter inch quarter inch uh, plate stock which is used the original screw holes where the front plate was fastened on so that's how I mounted that one seems to work out well it's accurate when you put a uh, micrometer on it uh, dial indicator so that worked out well it wasn't really hard to fabricate the pieces for either. So for the x-axis I mounted that to the front of the scale or the front of the table and uh, used the original the, the mill comes with stops on it and uh, you can slide them back and forth across the front so I used those original stops took them out and just bolted the scale directly to the table that way and I had to make a bracket to hold the reader up on the bottom we'll get a shot of that so there's the reader, it's mounted directly to the table. Uh, I had to put a piece of uh, aluminum behind it to space it out, to hold it, and then uh, another piece of angle bracket, a couple screws, bolts the reader securely, and the slide runs back and forth as you move the table. So I had to drill a couple holes and tap them, no big deal, but uh, that seemed to be the simplest way to do it. So for the y-axis, I took a piece of uh, one inch aluminum square tubing. I had to machine a little a little slot right in there so I'd have some uh, clearance to fit on the table and then inside I had to drill and, and tap a couple screws into there. Cast iron is pretty easy to drill it out tap it. Bolted that to the uh, frame of the mill there and then took the scale bolted that to that and then the reader Sets on the bottom there again. Had to drill two holes in the bottom to, to fasten that aluminum angle bracket, and uh, pretty simple deal. So it works out well. Probably you know three 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 hours messing around with it. Uh, pretty simple way to do it, and it gives you some ideas if you want to try it. 